Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. I think so. Oh, in our opinion, of course. You're trying to remember the line. Right. Uh, this, this is a lead up to the title, by the way. Ten ways to keep your memory sharp. This is by Harvard Health Publishing. I thought it was a cool topic. Again, a sure. little bit off topic for us, but I think, you know, as we all grow older, it's a concern. Right. You know, that's. Uh, I saw that Stephen King wrote actually that his biggest fear is that he's going to get dementia. I mean, and right. that's, I think a lot of people think about that. Yeah. I've got a fair amount of it in my family. So, I oh, mean, really? seriously, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, a lot of aunts and uncles that, yeah. uh, that, that got it. So I, I was, I've been seeing signs already, Bob. Oh, you're going to see signs of deterioration, no doubt about it. I mean, me? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> see what thanks I'm a lot. About? I thought you were talking about you. Oh, Bob. So, by the way, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and upload every day. Also, if you get a chance, go to the Facebook and like us. Because Rob, Bob and Brad, that's both of us. <laughs> we can't even remember our we names can't remember anymore. Our names anymore. We're going to like you if you like us. Good vibes to right. you. Right. All right. So we're going to give you some 10, 10 ways. And some of these you might know and some of these you maybe never heard of. But well, um, th these aren't just for older people. But, you know, younger people in school, you've got tests where there's some memorization aspect of the test. These are nice little tricks for that as well. So the, number one is you, you're going to use mnemonics. And, I, and Brad and I have kind of messed around with these all of our lives, haven't we? Well, I, mean, I wouldn't say all of my life. But, yeah, I definitely uh, started in yeah, yeah. first grade. Yeah. So one is like, you, you know, you take, and it's basically an acronym, right? Um, like you take... One that's common in therapy is rice. Uh, when you, when someone hurts a joint, we tell them to, to R I C E. You're going to rest it. Yep. You're going to use ice, compression, and elevation. Right. So it just it's an easy way to remember things. I use a lot of imagery with people that I try to remember names of, like some celebrities I couldn't remember their names. Sure. I, don't, I like Michael Caine. I don't know why I can never remember his name, and it was an easy one to do because I just picture him with a cane. Oh, and, sure. And, and that's, that's an easy one. What about his first name? Uh, once I get the cane, a lot of times I get the it Michael. It comes back. Yeah, yeah, the two, the two right. fit. Tommy Lee Jones is another one. I, I could never remember his name. I don't know why. And this is going to be a really weird one. Yeah. But he's got really deep crevices in his face now. So I pictured an Allen wrench, which is, which is the shape of the L. Yeah. I pictured it in his crevices. Oh. I don't know why. So the L reminds me of Lee, which reminds me of Tommy Lee Jones. I don't know. You know it works for me. Wow. But. You, now, you knew this one, Brad, the one bun, two shoe, three tree, four door, five hive, six, well, six, you seven, know, heaven. Actually, you know, I took that Fred Carnegie, I mean, Dale Carnegie <laughs> course. Um, and He's they trying to tell a lot of jokes yeah, here. They have the whole, there's a whole three-hour class on memorizing people's names because that's so important when you're working with people, people, right. people, you know. So, yeah, that's why this, I remember this one very well. So what you do, I mean, it's easy. I, we, I remember the cranial nerves this way. So one bun, two shoe. What you picture is you one is you know the bun obviously comes into mind right away, and you picture the object in associated with the bun. Sure. And usually the more outrageous it is, the better. Okay. But uh, I think I believe one bun one is the optic nerve, and I pictured eyes inside the bun. Right. So if you're a therapist or in the medical field, you can very much relate to. The 12 cranial nerves are always kind of difficult for a lot of people. Right. It's hard to pull, pull them out. And, <laughs> but uh, most people aren't, so this better Well, it reminds me, too. Boy, when I was young, boy, I could memorize things. like yeah. you know, Now it's like taking a rock and trying to pound something into my head. So, um, The other one, rooms of the house. You remember that one? Um, yeah. So you picture the rooms of your house, and you picture coming in the front door and going through the different rooms, and you can put different objects in those rooms. Like if you have a, a, a shopping list, and that will help you remember, right. you know, what... Th this is for those people who are very visual. Yeah. You know, they can really picture things in their minds distinctly. I've done it on talks where I, I picture the rooms of my house. I'm like, okay, first I'm going to talk about this. Okay. And I picture the, the subject in the first room right. and then in the second room. So right. it works. It, wor it works really well. So As long as you go to the right room in the right order. That's right. You, know, you end up in the... Go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and yeah then you got a problem. Yeah. But, you know, the other thing that's, that we were talking about when you were on break, Bob, is uh, I like you can do the singing thing. Like oh, sure. Teach your, your children your phone number by singing it. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people remember a lot better that way. Right. So I'm not going to sing because everyone will tune us out. Right. And plus, we don't want to hear your phone number because people will be calling you then. <laughs> exactly. All right. Number well, two. I'm going to sing yours. 
No, number two, by the way, you have to keep learning, uh, no matter what age you are. Mm -hmm. I started doing crossword puzzles. And oh, really? Was, uh, it was because uh, Stephen King mentioned that one. And I, mm -hmm. I'll i watch TV now, and I'll do a crossword puzzle, especially on the weekend. While you're watching TV? Yeah, while I'm watching TV. Wow, that is good. And so, impressive. And, um, you know, I have to find the ones that aren't, aren't too hard. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's with those. Number three, uh, repeat what you want to know. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, so when you first meet someone, this is, I'm sure that Dale Carnegie, yeah. is you want to repeat their name. And I do that, I, I'll say, you know, you'll say, hi, my name is Brad. And I'll go, hi, Brad, nice to meet you. Right. And I'll, throughout the conversation, I'll say, well, that's really good to know, Brad. And you know, the guys probably look at me, why do you keep saying my name? Right. Like, I'm trying to remember it. A lot of times I forget it after the first time, then I... If you say it, though, I remember it much better. Yeah, right. Yep. It gives me another mm -hmm. chance. So, uh, Number four, uh, don't buy into the negative stereotypes in, about aging and memory. Right. Um, if you think your, your memory is going to get bad and you think you have no ability to learn, you won't make the efforts to. Right. And they, they've found this in, through studies, that if you actually believe in yourself that you can you still learn things, yep. um, that you will make more efforts at it, and you get better at, at, at with better memory. Yep, you just got to be positive about that. You know, people talk about that CRS problem, yeah. can't remember stuff. Oh, no. Yeah. I was wondering what the CRS was. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. Those jokes, but uh, yeah, if you keep saying that, you're going to let yourself slide right into it. Now, one thing I found out, too, this is really uh, true for me, is really you want to space out your learning. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, don't cram it all in one, like we used to do in, in college, <laughs> try to do it in one night. Right. Um, le learning little pieces here and there, and I found that, like, when I do my continuing education now, mm -hmm. I'll do a half hour here, half hour there. Sure. I don't try to do a couple hours in a row. I right. Just, Right. My, my mind doesn't work that and way anymore. And then you can lap it. You can start back a little bit and overlap a little bit yeah, what you did before. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. review. Yeah, it's just more relaxing. Uh, number six, be uh, organized and economi econ economize. I'm sorry, economize your brain use. So mm -hmm. use planners and calendars and, you know, put your keys in the same spot. Don't wa waste your memory on little things like that. Right. You know, uh, use it for the big things. Yep. So, so. just good habits on, on daily life stuff so you don't have to, like you said, put a thing about keys or where your wallet is. You, you know, they got your so, wallet? They got so many apps. Yeah, and you know, I'm very careful about my wallet. I do, do the same things every day. And once you, know, if you get out of that routine, yeah. that's where <laughs> things start to go to, to pot. So uh, number seven, very important. You need to have, uh, these are, I think a lot of people know these. You need to have plenty of sleep. If, sure. if you're running on a low amount of sleep, your memory is not going to do well. Um, you want to keep your stress levels low. Yep. I found that recently. We had kind of gone through a period of high stress in one week, and my memory was really poor that <laughs> week. I mean, it really was. Yep. So you want to exercise. Oh, sure. You, you want to get the omega-3s. So we're, we're talking omega-3s. Omega-3s helps your memory. So we're talking salmon, salmon, tuna, tuna, and sardines. Oh. Is it in the oils? That's where the omega-3s it, it must is? be in the oils, yeah. yeah. Is there anybody that eats sardines? Do you eat them? I love them. Oh, my God. But they're pretty salty. What is wrong with you? Uh, that's my wife says, too, but I yeah. like them. And number 10, uh, this is something interesting I saw in um, a book. It was they, they were talking about how important meditation is. Mm -hmm. and, and really, a lot of uh, celebrities and a lot of successful people use meditation. Sure. Um, I don't myself. I, I do things that I think are semi-meditative, sure. Um, but but I, I don't use it myself. But um, I I advocate it for everybody else. Sure. Uh, well, I took a I took a couple of classes and then went through that in detail. And it takes a lot of uh, concentration, and you've, you've got to set some si some time aside and really focus on it. It's not like you're just going to say, "Oh, I'll go meditate for a couple minutes and come back." You know, you really. Uh, I mean, you may be able to do that when you get good at it, but I found it would. Yeah, you really got to put. Yeah, in the time yep. and, and some isolated. So, mm -hmm. all right. Well, I hope that helps everybody. I hope everybody you know remembers Bob and Brad. Right. If, so, if there is anybody still listening, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching and sticking with us.